Hello, this is Taylor from Numenta. In this video, I will introduce HTM Studio and walk through the tool. HTM Studio is a tool that makes it easy to experiment with our hierarchical temporal memory algorithms. HTM Studio is for anomaly detection use cases only. If you have a classification or prediction use case, explore our open source project at numenta.org. HTM Studio comes with several preloaded sample data sets. See the file names and expand to see your labeled columns, which we refer to as metric name. The NYC taxi data contains one metric, and the server data contains two metrics. Remember that you can only create one model per metric. Let's look at the New York taxi data for example. Select the metric to see your data. See File menu to see file details. See your CSV file data shown here. See timestamp, numeric column, and scroll to see a sample of your data. There are several ways to navigate this chart. Use zoom shortcuts to see more or less of your data. Widen or shrink in the navigation window to adjust the zoom. You can move the navigation window at the bottom of the model, left and right. You can also move to a certain point in the chart by creating your own navigation window or by clicking. Lastly, you can grab the chart and move it left or right. Now, let's move on to adding your own data and analyzing it. We will deselect the NYC taxi data. Here we will add a file from our desktop. We will choose our sample file, Network Stats, which contains IT server data. You can only add files in the CSV file format to HTM Studio. Watch our tutorials to learn how to format your data. Here you will see file details such as file size, number of rows, and the data in your CSV. This is a simple file that includes a spike. Once you add the file, your file shows up in the left menu. We will select a metric and click Analyze to run the model. Here is the spike. Let's see if HTM Studio detects an anomaly. Click Analyze. HTM Studio automatically determines the optimal parameters and in some cases aggregates your data for analysis. While the model is running, you will see a progress bar on the top right. The initial learning period is represented by the grayed out area. You will not see any anomaly results during this period. The bars at the bottom of the chart are representative of the anomaly likelihood. Green is low, yellow is medium, red is high, meaning it is very likely that there is an anomaly. Here we see that the spike was detected as high, indicated by a red bar. If your data has been aggregated, you can see the original data by selecting the Show Non-Aggregated Data checkbox. Once your model is complete, click on Results. Here, you will see a summary of anomalies detected and what you can do next. You can export your results to Excel by clicking Export and saving the file. Let's open this file and explore in Excel. The file contains timestamp values, metric values, which is the aggregated data that's been analyzed by HTM Studio, and anomaly levels. NA is shown for values in the initial learning period. Low, medium, and high correspond to the green, yellow, and red bars. Now let's move back to HTM Studio. Click Delete and HTM Studio will ask you to confirm. You can also delete files that you have uploaded by clicking on the File menu and selecting Delete. This concludes our walkthrough of HTM Studio. Explore the tool and check out our video tutorials to learn how to properly format your data before adding to HTM Studio. 